we have a lip gloss, a mascara, and then two of their Miracle Bombs, which I'm super excited to try. It's very moisturizing and it has like a little peppermint taste to it. Can you believe this boy is 10 weeks old? I cannot believe it. So listen to this, this sounds amazing. Red apple, brown sugar, and toasted marshmallow are the notes of it. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Esperanza. I am a full-time content creator and blogger going on eight years now. I am also a new mom to Sage Wilder. I am a single mom currently living in Phoenix, Arizona with my parents. So I actually just got back from Eastern Washington where Sage and I flew to so that Sage and his father could meet, which I'll be talking about in another video that I'm hopefully filming today. But while I was there, I actually had several PR boxes that had been delivered to that address. I didn't know that they were set to go to that address, which is not the one that I'm currently living at here in Phoenix. So I was able to bring those packages back with us to Phoenix. And I thought that I would do a little PR haul for you guys of those boxes. And I am not wearing any makeup right now. Actually, that's not true. I'm wearing a tinted moisturizer and then I did do my brows. So with some, a brow pencil and gel, but I'm going to be trying out Jones Road Beauty makeup that was sent to me. So that is why I'm wearing only tinted moisturizer so that I could show you guys what the Jones Road Beauty makeup looks like and my camera's wiggling around right now because of Sage moving around in his little snuggle me lounger. So he is sleeping right now. I'm going to leave him in his lounger and if he wakes up I will put him in my Ergo Baby carrier which I already have half on right now. So we'll see how long that lasts. Okay, so I actually had two boxes from Jones Road Beauty, which I just combined into the one bag. They're still in their little boxes, so I have to open them up, but we have a lip gloss, a mascara, and then two of their Miracle Bombs, which I'm super excited to try. I've seen the Miracle Bomb advertised a ton and it sounds amazing. Um, one of my best girlfriends also um, said that she absolutely loves it, so very excited about that so i was sent the miracle bomb in flushed and dusty rose so i'm gonna open these up and see what those colors look like i have a feeling that i'm going to like flushed so let's open these up here's what their packaging looks like very simple and this is what the dusty rose color looks like very pretty actually i do love that color so before i decide which one to put on i want to see what the flushed color looks like okay so here is the flushed color so actually just based on what the colors look like in the jars i actually i'm gonna go for the dusty rose i like the mauvey tones of that a little bit better than the kind of like fuchsia tone of the flushed. So I was wrong on my initial judgment based on the name color. Okay, so it's super glossy. I'm actually using something very similar right now from Tower 28. So I am very familiar with more of like the glossy, dewy, um, glowy type makeup, which I think is just really pretty. It looks so natural, but it also gives your face a very pretty glow. So I think you can just kind of build it up based on how much color you want in your cheek. So I'm just kind of adding it and seeing how it looks as I go. It feels very moisturizing, which I like. I used to be like a matte foundation 
um, like matte makeup type gal, but as I've gotten older, dewy makeup like this, that kind of makes your skin glowy, is just so much more forgiving. Okay. So just a little bit of color on the cheeks, not too much. I'm also going to try putting this on my eyes. That's what I do with my um, Tower 28 makeup. I can't remember what that product is called, but I like to give my eyelids just a little bit of color as well. Okay. Next, we are going to try their cool gloss in the color pink gold shimmer. Ooh, so this is a very pretty color. It actually is very similar in tone to the Dusty Rose uh, Miracle Balm. So let's see how this looks like on. Ooh, very moisturizing. Love that. I hate when lip gloss is like too thick, but this goes on very smoothly. It's very moisturizing and it has like a little peppermint taste to it. It's very shimmery and I actually think that looks really pretty. Definitely complements the Dusty Rose Miracle Balm. Okay, so we are going to try their mascara next. So this is the Pitch Black, um, the mascara in Pitch Black. So here's what that looks like. Very simple branding, love. Okay, so I did not curl my eyelashes, um, but I'm just gonna go ahead and just try a little bit on using my camera as my mirror. Okay, that was a little tricky, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I could have done a much better job than this, but you guys get the idea. So I am no makeup expert, but this wand is curved. So it has like a strong curve to it and it's very bristly, which I actually do like. I feel like that's a little bit more of a traditional style um, wand with like the bristles, but I think that the curl, like the wave to it helps you get um, a more of a curl on your lashes. So without having used a um, eyelash curler, this actually does give my lashes a good curl to them which I'm assuming, ow, just poked my eye, but that's four. And then they also sent their everything brush, which is probably for like foundation, blush, that kind of thing. I almost never use brushes. I pretty much just like apply everything with my finger and it's all like the type of makeup that you would apply with your finger but this looks like such an amazing brush. So, and it's so soft actually, it feels like those like Kabuki brushes. Um, so definitely an amazing brush. I may have to gift this to a friend or a family member because like I said, I don't really use those. So I feel like for a five minute makeup routine, those products alone definitely give you a more put together look very quickly, which is a must for a new mom like me. Okay, so next I have some skincare products from Kiehl's. I was wondering why I wasn't getting any packages from them, so it totally makes sense that they just had that old address, but I absolutely love Kiehl's skincare, and these are a bunch of, um, I would say like their must-haves, um, best products. So I have their Ultra Facial Cream, which if you guys have been following along, you know that I love and swear by this moisturizer. And they actually sent it to me in the cleanser as well. So I'm very excited to try this out because I already love the cream. But um, 
and I'm actually running out of my cleanser and I don't have one lined up to use next. So this will definitely be the cleanser that I end up using next. Very excited about that. So let me just set these down because I'm holding too many things. So I also have their Ultimate Strength Hand Solve. Um, this is definitely going to come in handy because I am constantly washing my Hakka and Baby Sage's bottles uh, with soap and stuff. So my hands have been getting extra dry because I have to wash them like multiple times a day. It's best for you to hand wash um, the Hakka especially, but I just end up hand washing the bottles as well. So all of these hand creams are going to be coming in handy. So this um, Ultimate Strength Hand Solve, this is like a little bit more of like an extra strength hand cream and then we also have their richly hydrating hand cream in lavender and grapefruit so these sound lovely and this one's going to be great for my extra dry hands right now um, i love just putting this on like especially right before going to bed as well i always remember to put on hand cream so I was very excited to find those, but I was also very excited about this bag of coffee, that Verve coffee scent, I believe for International Women's Day. This is their Mujeres de Huehue. Not sure how to pronounce that. Guatemala. So listen to this. This sounds amazing. Red apple, brown sugar, and toasted marshmallow are the notes of the of this medium roast blend. So I actually have one of their coffees that I'm uh, currently brewing and once that runs out, I'm out. So I was very happy about this package. <coughs> <coughs> And if you guys aren't familiar with Verve Coffee, they are actually a Santa Cruz based company and they have several locations around Los Angeles that my sister and I were able to check out the last time I was there, which was actually a year ago. Uh, so crazy. And now I have a son. Wow, like seriously, time flies and you just never know where life takes you. Oh my gosh, he looks so cute right now. I'm gonna have to show you guys a little clip of him or something. Okay, so I have another package here. This was actually not in Washington. This was here when I got back from my trip and it's a package from Mary Young. And basically they had asked if I wanted um, some of their new pieces, a few new pieces. Um, I already have a set from them. But basically they make sustainably made um, intimates. So underwears, bras, things like that. So Mary Young is the brand. So they sent me the Bodhi Hip Bikini, the Dorcas Slip Dress, and the Shea Tank. You are seen, heard, valued, loved, welcomed, and supported. A cute little postcard. That's a fun detail. I always love it when, um, brands have like extra details like that okay so we have the tank here can't remember the name but the tank that's actually really really cute and i think that i had asked for these in the size medium um just because right now i'm i still have my postpartum body body so I initially lost like 20 pounds within like the week after having Sage. And then since then, I think I've lost like another eight to 10 pounds, but I still have about 15 pounds to go before I'm back to um, my pre-pregnancy body. So it's just a little bit confusing because pre-pregnancy I was a small, extra small, kind of just depended. Um, so I really wasn't sure what size to get 
but I decided to just go ahead and get the size medium um, just because I wanted to make sure that these pieces would actually fit me and I'm not fitting into um, a small, I actually had to get rid of like all my small underwear and basically just have like mediums right now. So I thought this was a pretty good guess. I'll have to try these on and um, see if they fit, but here is the um, underwear. So just like, as you guys can see, very dainty and feminine. So the underwear would go perfectly with the tank. And then this is the slip dress. So, uh, looks very similar to that tank and then, but only it's a, a slip dress. So I think these are great for like under a dress. You can also wear them to bed. I don't currently own a slip dress, but I have always kind of wanted one. So I am very excited for this. So I think these are going to be great for just making me feel a little bit more feminine, a little bit more sexy um, as a new mom in my postpartum body and learning to love my postpartum body. Okay guys, so that is it for this PR haul. I'm actually going to be filming a, another video right after this. So I'm gonna like fix my hair and stuff. I just had it like this so that I could put the makeup on and show you guys without getting my hair in my face. But um, that video is basically going to be a breakup update. So I've done a few of these now um, because the situation with my partner of 10 years, the father of my baby has been kind of like ever changing. And so I've just been giving like updates here and there. So my next video is going to be one of those. I've been calling them breakup updates because I didn't really know what else to call them. Um, so that's what I'm gonna be filming right after this. So if you guys are interested in that, be sure to check back for that video. Um, I'm actually not sure which one I'll post first, but basically that's what I'm gonna be filming right after this. And I seriously can't believe that Sage has been sleeping this whole time. Um, he's definitely like changing so much as he's getting older week by week. Um, before he would not let me set him down. Like he went through kind of a phase where he wanted to just be held all of the time. So I'm very surprised that since I got back from, cause he was even being like that in Washington where I was there for a week. Um, and I've actually been back in Phoenix for a week, but this past week he's been taking naps here and there in his little lounger on the bed. Um, he's making all these new noises. He started smiling actually while we were in Washington, which was so cute. And um, he's just reaching all these new little milestones for his age. So that's very exciting to see. He's working on starting to roll. Um, we still have quite a bit of work to do there because he doesn't love tummy time. Um, I try to get him to do tummy time every single day, but it's a little tough in between, you know, work. And I've had so many campaigns recently, which I'm super thankful for, but it has just been like, a lot of nonstop work. That can be a little bit challenging with a two month old baby. So anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you guys are not subscribed to my channel, please be sure to subscribe, hit the bell notification so you'll be notified whenever I have a new video. And also be sure to check me out on all my socials at Thurban Darling and my blog, thurbandarling.com. If you guys could share my socials, share my YouTube channel with somebody that you think would enjoy my content, that would be amazing. Any support that I can get, honestly, as a single mom is just so, so appreciated. I really, really do appreciate the support and so many of you have just been so kind and, oops, Sage is waking up. <laughs> oh my goodness. Sometimes he'll just wake up upset because he, I guess just like realizes that he's not being held or he maybe has like a little bit of a bad dream or something. Oh, buddy. His eyes are a little bit red from crying just now. 
Oh, he's just waking up. Look at those big eyes. Okay, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you guys in my next videos. Bye. Thank you.